Well, we saw another large gathering advertised as a teen trend on social media, and it caused chaos downtown last night. A huge police response was called to Washington and Wabash, where crowds were seen fighting and blocking streets. Two teenagers were shot in the midst of it all. NBC 5's Jen DeSalvo is here in the studio with more. Jen? And we'll show you a little bit of that because on both nights, these events happen hours before curfew in public places where residents go to gather. But the groups, well, they became unsafe when they started flooding into the streets. You can see that regular weekend evening traffic was just trying to get by, but young people were coming from always, running from group to group through the streets. Police tried to manage traffic as kids were jumping on and kicking cars, even chasing after them. We even sent our own crew to the scene. They couldn't even get out of the vehicle because groups of people were surrounding the truck. And then gunfire. Just after 9 o'clock, one 16-year-old boy was shot in the arm and another 17-year-old was struck in the leg. Now, this was downtown, but on Friday, something similar happened at 31st Street Beach. It was a lot of cops here, but they were still outnumbered. It was so many teenagers that showed up and they tried to, they tried to keep the peace and keep them under control. And this witness didn't want to be identified, but said people were dancing on cars. One car was driving in circles. He believes it is the one that is seen here that caught fire. And when gunfire was heard, they dropped to the ground. A 14-year-old boy was shot in the leg. What's it going to take? The community has to step up. Parents got to step up. We can't keep blaming politicians and waiting on them. It starts with us. It's going to take us to save us. All three of the teenagers shot do not have life-threatening injuries. And at this point, police do not have anyone in custody in relation to either of the shootings. Back to you, Kate. All right, Jen, thank you.